Hi there, my name's Steve and I'm an architect. If you've ever spent more than five minutes in a conversation with me, you'll know that I'm anything but concise. I can spend hours, days, prattling on about the craft of software architecture. I may toss any number of books at you to cite my sources. That said, there's also value in boiling it down to the essentials. So here's how to architect software in five easy steps. Number one, identify the functional requirements. An architect must collaborate with the requirements engineer, such as a product manager, product owner, business analyst, or what have you, to identify and articulate the functional requirements for the desired work. Each requirement must include the who, the what, and the why. Number two, identify the non-functional requirements. An architect must then identify and articulate the non-functional requirements. These must include the necessary quality attributes of the system and any other architecturally significant requirements. Number three, define the test cases. An architect must collaborate with the tester, such as a test architect, test engineer, test analyst, or what have you, to help them define the test cases and articulate how to test the functional and non-functional requirements. This task includes helping testers to define fitness functions to test the difficult to test non-functional requirements. Number four, compare the viable options. An architect must perform a comparative analysis of the different technical approaches to meet the functional and non-functional requirements. Here, the architect evaluates the different ways how work can be completed. Number five, decide and document. An architect must make a decision on how to do the work. Then they must document that decision. Obviously, executing these five steps can be anything but easy. Engagement, collaboration, negotiation, and communication can be quite nuanced. That said, if you can accomplish these things one way or another, it'll bring you a lot closer to achieving what they call architecture maturity.